Hi there. I thought I would demonstrate something really cool to you about the Optimus Crux stove. This is the Optimus, Optimus Crux stove and it's quite an amazing stove. It's very small, it packs very small, folds up and it weighs only 83 grams which is less than half of most LPG stoves like this. Now as you know this stove folds up like so, like so. the fuel arm comes out and then this attaches to a, um, an LPG canister. Now, if you've camped with lighters and you've had some experience with the PZO igniters that are on some stoves and lanterns, you know that regular lighters and matches can be a real pain. And I wondered if it was possible to maybe somehow get one of those PZO igniters on this stove, because then that would be just fantastic. Um, so what I did is I bought, I saw that you could buy this uh, igniter, this PZO igniter, it's for an MSR stove, it's sold by MSR. Um, and I thought maybe, well, at the very least I can just use this as kind of a handheld sparker. Um, and just hold it to the stove and, and spark it. When I looked at the stove, I noticed that um, the throat here had this brass collar on it. And I also noticed the hole in this, so I assume on the MSR, this somehow screws onto the neck of the, of the stove. So I thought, well, I wonder if the diameters here are going to work out. So what I did, and what you can do, is you take a pair of pliers, and you grab that uh, brass neck with the pliers very carefully, and turn, and loosen it. And what happens is when you loosen it, um, it's really applying the pressure to hold the neck, the head of the stove, onto the black gas manifold. Once you loosen that brass ring, you can just turn the head of the stove off, like that. So then you have the head of the stove and you have the manifold. In the manifold here is the... Um, fuel pilot so you want to make sure not to get any debris in there that's the whole little hole where the gas comes out now you'll notice on the manifold that there's a minus sign and a plus sign so what you can do is you can take this MSR igniter you can put it it does actually fit around the throat of the manifold put it so that it's on the side that has the plus like that and then take the head and screw the head back down so now you can start to see this come together. The throat here holds the igniter in place. And now you can see that it's starting to look very much like something that could work. Um, but what you want to do is you don't want to interfere with the ability of the stove to fold. Um, so it takes a little bit of effort, but you want to kind of fold this. You want the stove to fold towards the igniter. So you want it to fold, you want it to fold this way. So you have to, you can turn the head of the stove so it's a bit tight, then loosen it. You can pull the, um, the uh, head kind of retaining ring down so you can see the hinge and turn it until you can see that the head of the stove is going to fold towards the igniter like that. Now, what you want to do is you want to line up the head and the igniter and the manifold so that they're all nicely lined up. And you can basically the way you do that is you just you have to just kind of maybe put it down on a table or the ground, line up the head and the manifold, manually put the igniter in place, and then using your finger just gently tighten the retaining ring. So get everything nicely lined up and try and tighten the retaining ring so that everything else doesn't move. Okay, once you get it kind of to a point, it's not entirely tight, but it's kind of good enough, we're going to give it a twist with the um, pliers. So do it this way. It uh, takes a little fiddling to get it all 
lined up, but uh, that's the goal. Okay, so there it's lined up, right? So there it's folded. You can see now the igniter is in place, and now just to make sure everything's going to stay, I'll take a pair of pliers and I'll just carefully tighten the brass ring and try not to move anything when I do that. So now, the head, you can see the head and the way that it's aligned with the igniter. Now the head will fold as normal and, and just miss the igniter. So now what you want to do is you want to adjust the igniter so that the end of the pin is kind of somewhere in the middle of um, where the heat comes out. So you just sort of bend it, bend it a bit in place using the bend it down here um, where the, uh, the kind of the, the sheet metal chassis for the igniter is. Just try to bend it into place. It takes again a little bit of work and you can do this beforehand actually before you put it on. Uh, bend it a bit. So now you can see the igniter is sort of in line with the holes where the fuel comes out. So if you strike, you probably can't see it because of the light, but you get a spark. So now we're going to test it. So make sure that you turn the fuel off by turning it all the way to minus. Put it on your canister. So, now here I'm just going to zoom out here. So there it's on the canister. And now, just give it a little more a bit of a bend and just, just try and get that pin so that it's in the middle of where the uh, gas would come out. We'll turn the gas on. Strike. go. Now I assume it takes a few times to strike it because um, the gas isn't necessarily uniformly coming out of the holes in the burner. But um, the more you get that pin centered, the more likely you're going to get it to work. So anyway, there's, there it is working. Now what's really great about this is that when you take it off. Now it's going to be a little hot, so I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want to burn myself. But when it uh, folds down, it folds down like normal. There is a little bit of uh, there is a little bit of height now because of that igniter. But when you you can still store this in the um, canister sack and it will still fit in the bottom of the canister. It's, it's a, a little bit higher but not really a lot and it's really fantastic. So now go ahead and go and put a piezo igniter on your Optimus Crux. 60 bucks and you're laughing.